Dr. Willem Kalf was born in the Netherlands in 1911 as a doctor inspired by a patient who died of uremia. He became interested in the possibility of artificially simulating the function of the kidney to remove toxins from the blood of kidney patients. Under Professor Paul Daniels, he was able to research and outline potential mechanisms to cleanse blood of impurities. Just as he finished his residency, Germany invaded and bombed Rotterdam. In response, Kolf founded the first blood bank on the European continent. When the Dutch defenses collapsed, Professor Daniels and his wife committed suicide. Instead of serving under the professor's Nazi replacement, Dr. Kolf moved to a town called Kampen to work in the municipal hospital. It was there in 1943 that Dr. Kolf developed the first artificial kidney. He had to do this at night in secret because the Germans prevented them from using war materials like aluminum. His first 15 patients only lived a few days on the machines. Then, in 1945, he succeeded in saving a patient's life. After the war ended, he shipped free dialysis machines to researchers in England, Canada, and the United States. In 1950, he emigrated to the U.S. at the invitation of the Cleveland Clinic. There, he built one of the first heart and lung machines, which made open-heart surgery possible for the first time. He then developed an artificial heart and balloon pump. Later, he served on the surgical team that implanted an artificial heart into Barney Clark. In 1967, Dr. Kolf moved to the University of Utah and continued work on dialysis devices. In 1975, he introduced a wearable artificial kidney, an 8-pound chest pack with an 18-pound auxiliary tank. He has published over 600 papers and articles and numerous books including artificial organs. He was inducted into the Inventors Hall of Fame in 1985 and in 1990 was named by Life magazine in its list of the 100 most important Americans of the 20th century. In September 2002, Dr. Willem J. Kolf received the Albert Lasker Award for Clinical Medical Research, the highest honor in American medicine. The award committee cited Dr. Kolf for development of renal hemodialysis, which changed kidney failure from a fatal to a treatable disease, prolonging the useful lives of millions of patients. Patients with other types of organ failure must get a transplant or die. Kidney patients are the fortunate ones. In large part, this is due to Dr. Kolf's miraculous invention.